So there's a lot of doom and gloom today from Warhammer in regards to Age of Sigma and the models that will be leaving unfortunately and I for one am also feeling the gloom as well in regards to this and it's one of those things that I have complete empathy for people that are going to have collections that are null and void that have spent loads of time building and painting over the years because honestly it's not okay, it's not right. Games Workshop have really, really made a mistake here, if you want my honest and humble opinion. People may argue that there is bloat to the game, and you know, in some aspects, there is bloat. And that's going to happen in a miniatures game, unfortunately. However, for those people that have those collections, and spent all that time and money still, I just, honestly, I'm gutted for you. If you play one of these factions, I'm gutted for you. Okay, so let's just jump into it. So the news today is that Beasts of Chaos and Bone Splitters are going. They are leaving us during 4th edition. I know we had rumours about it. I had rumours video for Age of Sigma 4.0. Please check it out if you want to see some of the rumours. And yeah, one of the rumours was Beasts of Chaos going. Um, and it's a strange one really. I think as a faction they're quite unique. They're incredible. I, okay. I know they're going to be in the old world, which is great. You know, I, I'm glad to see them getting some love. But they only had a Vanguard box come out last year. They obviously had the new miniature come out last year. And to then have people still buying it recently, you know, the Vanguard box is still on sale at the moment. I was in Warhammer World on Monday and the Vanguard box was still there. And it is completely going to be, unless you want to play the old world, useless they're going to give legends rules to them so you know people can continue to play them in non-competitive function past that however it isn't good enough on top of that bone splitters are also going and bone splitters isn't as bad as beasts of chaos in the fact that you know it's got a much smaller player base obviously but still it isn't cool and i'm not happy with it and i know there are a lot of people that are also not happy with it and with the Beasts of Chaos and Bone Splitters news, unfortunately, even that's not it. Stormcast Eternals are also going to have a reduction in numbers. Some things we know are going to come back. So on here, they've got the Liberators. We know we're going to get new Liberators. Um, they actually don't look that much different. So if you can use your old ones in games, if anyone actually cares, then let them melt, let's be honest. Because if they're not going to let you play with your old models... Don't play them anyway, but it's not the sort of person you want to play with. Prosecutors are also on the list. Um, however, we do know we're going to get some new prosecutors. I'm not worried about them in the slightest. They will be available in the launch box. We've seen them in the trailer. So no issues there. There is some shocks to me. I would say the Ballista. I didn't expect the Ballista to go, as well as the Evocators on Dracolins. Honestly, another thing, you know, didn't expect to see them being squatted either. So... That is a bit of a shock to me. I know they've been struggling for warehouse space and keeping stock. And obviously with having more specialist games and more popular games in general. And releasing new stuff that they are going to have less warehouse space and less capacity. And we are all feeling that. Let's be honest. We are all feeling it. Still, I am upset for those who have the stormcast armies that literally can see the majority of the models that they're getting rid of that really really sucks i said earlier on regardless of what's being lost if you've lost something that sucks and i'm not going to be here and tell you that you're wrong i really feel empathy for you because it's not right a lot of the Skaven range will also be leaving, going from sale. Um, I obviously have mentioned that a lot of this will be returning, but with newer models. We know they're going to get a massive range refresh, similar as that of Seraphon. So I'm not too worried about that, because they had some models that were very, very old, and they did need updating. The price people were paying for some of these old models such as like the old Gisales or even the old clan rats, you know, the price you're paying for them, that's not right. Because um, the price went up, but the quality of the models didn't go up. So 
the fact that they're going to replace these, we pretty much know they're going to replace pretty much all of these, or most of these anyway. Um, and when we do get notification of what's been replacing, obviously I'll be sure to put it on the channels just so everyone is fully, fully aware. And because we like shocks today, there are more models that will be leaving the range. So Slaves of Darkness are also being hit. And this is pretty much a lot of warbands that you could use for Warcry. So the Horse of Hashut, the Tranchalus Brood, Corvus Cabal, Cypher Lords, your Untamed Beasts, Spire Tyrants, they're all going to go to Legends War Scrolls and not going to be sold no more. Um... Yeah, that is a um, bit sad, really, because it's one of those things that Save the Darkness that I think made things a little unique in a way, that you could include these different war bands that actually a huge amount of different war bands compared to the other factions, and it sort of made Save the Darkness pretty cool, because Save the Darkness, is, in essence, is just a mismatch of different war bands, and it really helped make things feel like different war bands, um, so I know some people are also upset about that. Okay, I know it's not always the most competitive thing to do, but from a point of building an army and things like that, and obviously losing these models isn't ideal. One positive I'm trying to take is that hopefully this leaves more room for Dark Oath Savages. Obviously, we know we've got more models coming in the near future, and I'm hoping that during 4th edition, they expand on that. I want to see the range grow because I like that warband feel um, and that would honestly make things more positive for me and I would feel that positivity. So I'm hoping that we get more information like that soon because that's the information we want to hear. And even then, that's not it. The Silver Neff, you're going to lose the Branch Wraith. Seraphon, you're going to lose the Sword Eternity Warden. Valkyr the Bloody is going. Skylar, going. Madcap Shaman and the Big Boss and Gigantic Spider are also going. So, yes, there is a hell of a lot of models that are leaving Age of Sigma just in general. Now, of course, there is loads of speculation about what is going to come during 4th edition. So, I am expecting to see quite a lot of new releases go on because obviously they do want to make money. Chaos Dwarfs being one of them, which is positive. However, getting rid of some of the older factions, as I said several times throughout the video, is still not the correct way to go about things and to do it. Have you been affected though? I want to know in the comments below if you've been affected. Please just keep it nice because for me, as I said, for those people that are suffering and losing out essentially because they've put all this time, effort and money into it, it is a really, really bad time regardless if you think it's correct or not correct. Anyway, I want to thank you so much for listening to me rambling. It's hard to be trying to be positive about things because I am usually quite positive. But in my opinion, as I said several times, this is negative. Anyway, I'll see you next time, hopefully with some more positive news this time.